Hello and welcome to Matins for St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church in McGuanago, Wisconsin. I'm Pastor Johnston and very happy to be with you this morning for our final installation of our series on the O Antiphons. Uh, the O Antiphons are the seven antiphons that the church sings or celebrates um, at the end of the Advent season as we prepare to celebrate the incarnation of Christ on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. And our antiphon for today, for December 23rd, is O Emmanuel, our King and Giver of Law. And so with that, we will continue with the Order of Matins. If you're following along at home, it's on page 207 in your Blue Christian Worship Hymnals. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Rejoice, your King comes to you. Praise and thanks to God. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Our seventh and final antiphon of the O Antiphons for December 23rd is O Emmanuel, our King and Giver of Law, come to save us, Lord our God. In the ancient world, uh, kings were a very important thing, especially in the ancient Near East. In fact, it was kings and, and maybe priests who were believed to to bear an, an image of God, to to in some to some degree reflect divinity. And one of the greatest things a king could do was to give a law, a code of law. In fact. Out of all the things that could be preserved from early human history, uh, at least the early history of civilizations, uh, the things that we often have are these codes of law or statements of law. To attempt to order society, to give safety, to bring justice, this was the job of a king. A king was a, a giver of law. He bore to some degree an image of the gods, of the goddesses, of the, I guess, divine pantheon. And today now we pray, O Emmanuel, our king and giver of law. And he doesn't bear the image of God. Christ is the image of God. He is God among us. And even more, he is the God who, as we prayed earlier, when we talk about, talked about him being the, the creator and the guide of all things that he got, guides creation with power and love, he is the one who has made us and created us in the image of God. And now by grace through faith is restoring us in that image. An image not only for a king or a priest, but for all. And he is our king and giver of law. Not, not giver of law simply in the sense of do this and don't do that. That's not the main reason Jesus came. We, we had plenty of laws already, both from God and, and from the world. But he brings justice. He brings righteousness. He brings safety. He brings peace. Because he is Emmanuel, God with us. For most religions, God or the gods, they're, they're far off on that mountain or beyond that mountain, above or you name it, below, wherever it might be. Maybe they bear human likeness in some way. In fact, Mount Olympus is kind of like a Jerry Springer show of, of sorts. If you remember the Jerry Springer of old, there's, there's all this conniving going on and, and scandal. But they're not near in the sense that Christ is near. 
In Christ, God has become one of us. He is with us. He was with us on Christmas, but he's still with us now in word and sacrament, where, for instance, with his very body and blood born in Bethlehem, given on the cross and resurrected, he comes to us with peace and justice and righteousness and hope and love. What do we want our king and giver of law to do? The one who ordered all creation and now has come to deliver us as his creations. We want him to come and save because he is the Lord, the Savior, our God, the one God in whose image we were created and who, in whose image we are being restored. What a thing to be able to say that our God is our Emmanuel. He knows us as we know ourselves. He is one of us to make us now like him and to bring us with him for all eternity. See that in the manger, that child that seems so humble, who cries when he's hungry or in need for his mother and for Joseph, who's been entrusted with his care as his stepfather. That simple, that humble child, yet is God with us, has come to us who are so weak and frail and must cry out in need so often, has come to us to give us justice and righteousness and peace and safety and hope as our king, as our giver of law, but most importantly, as our Emmanuel. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing an endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of heavenly hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your glorious true and only Son, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father, when you became man to set us free, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Amen. Hear my voice when I call, O Lord, be merciful and answer me. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of faith of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.